Yeah, well, we continue to think that viewing of a professional video is going to roughly relate to uh, spending on content, uh, shock of shocks, right? I think it's a really uh, accurate model to think about the share of spending that a given entity has on content relative to others and their share of viewing. And those data points probably will align. Uh, this doesn't need to be rocket science. If you spend $5 billion on uh, television-like content in a world where there's, say, $70 billion of spending on content, roughly my estimate for the U.S., you should expect around 7% share of viewing. Sure enough, Netflix spends about $5 billion uh, on an allocated basis to the U.S., and they have about 7% of viewing in the U.S., so we think that that's really the driver here. Uh, when a network owner and a streaming services owner says, we're going to uh, shift uh, 2 billion of spending from our traditional linear network into our streaming service, you should reasonably expect that the eyeballs will follow the money in that context. Uh, again, I don't think this is rocket science. It's not that complicated. If there's more better content, people will watch it. They will in fact pay for it, shock of shocks. Uh, and I think that's also underappreciated. Those environments are unlikely to have anything like the advertising experiences or in terms of the volume of ads that we see in traditional linear TV. Uh, and that really has a lot of implications for marketers who historically have relied on the reach and frequency capacity of television to satisfy uh, a given goal. So, yeah, and this sort of ties back to the consumer preference study you did um, you know, do people like advertising? Are they willing to take a, I, I assume they're happy to take a lower ad load. What has some of your research found? Well, certainly looking at the past research that I've seen, and we'll get to our most recent study, uh, you know, I think that there's a lot of people in the industry who, uh, buy into the idea that, uh, consumers don't hate advertising. They just hate poorly targeted advertising. You could produce a survey that would get that answer if you had the right leading questions. Uh, but I think that if you left open-ended questions uh, in the hands of consumers around uh, advertising, whether or not they like it and want more of it, I think you'd find pretty uniformly the answer is no. And I think there are definitely exceptions where you have fantastic creative, where you have uh, really endemic marketers whose products and brands are really aligned with uh, what a consumer is doing with a, with, within a niche hobby where it's truly about information provision for something a consumer didn't know anything about. For everything else, you know, brands have a really hard time because it's all about persuading the consumer why they should be paying attention at all. And of course, brands can be built in this way and it works. So that's to say TV is a really effective way to satisfy these goals, even if the consumer doesn't necessarily want uh, to be exposed to the ads, at least not initially. Uh, in the current environment with our survey, we did ask people if they'd be willing to accept uh, more ads uh, or ads in exchange for a reduced price uh, of a streaming service. The way we asked the question, we, we tried to keep it as broad as possible. What was interesting is that the percentage of people who said yes fell, meaning the tolerance for uh, ad supported streaming services probably diminishing. Now, it could very well be that just consumers are just tired of watching programming with 12 minutes an hour. And if you think or assume that it's going to be 12 or 14 or 16 or 18 minutes an hour of advertising, you, it's really hard to tolerate that if you've been spending more and more time watching ad free content. It doesn't answer the question of, well, what about two minutes an hour? What about 30 second? Uh, teaser when you light up the uh, streaming service and no other ads. How about that? How about that kind of advertising in exchange for a lower price? You might find very different uh, tolerances depending on, uh, again, how you frame the question, but also what the underlying uh, offering is.